this is going to be an installation of a Gentech Condor elevator. Just a basic floor, four floor installation. Not very complicated, we're not going to get into the details. Go into your inventory and open up the folder that you're given from the, from the uh, box and drag the elevator out into the elevator shaft. This is going to res it. Uh, now you're going to rotate it and position it according to the elevator shafts and the doorway. Uh, this is on the bottom floor, of course. And just don't worry about collisions with the floor or the walls. The el this elevator is affected by non-physical objects, so you don't have to worry about having any sort of gap for physics, because it doesn't use physics. Isn't that great? Uh, it, well, they use physics, whatever. Anyways, open your content of the elevator and open the config note card here. You're going to see this. And uh, this is the config note card. And go up to elevator ID and change default to something more descriptive of the elevator. In this case, we're just going to use sample elevator because that's what this is. And then save the note card and close it. You're going to see the elevator open and start loading the note card and then it's going to throw an error. Uh, don't worry about this, uh, we'll get to this later. Uh, next, just open up your inventory and drag the door out onto the floor and then rotate it and position it into the doorway. Not very complex, you know, just uh, line it up to the elevator, or elevator, line up to the elevator to the door, doesn't matter. And then you can also el edit the uh, button plate prim, and you can move that around here. You don't have to. As long as it's visible, that's what's important. And then you want to open up the elevators, open up the object, and in the description field, you want to put the elevator's ID. So in this case, it was sample elevator. So to put that in there. Now let's go up to the second floor, and let's do the same thing, except this time we're not going to position and rotate it. We're just going to res it, and we're going to edit the description to have sample elevator. Uh, you don't have to worry about floors above the bottom floor. They are automatically aligned and positioned and rotated, so don't worry about that. Uh, go to the third floor here, let's res another door, put the description, the sample elevator, and let's go to the fourth floor and put another door and make sure the description is once again sample elevator. And that's about it for the door resing. Now we're going to go back down to the elevator here. go. And what you're going to do is you're going to alt cam inside the elevator and you're going to click the display, the black thing with the number on it, and you're going to choose setup. That's going to set up the elevator, it's going to open the doors, mess around with it. And if you did this correctly, it should load the configuration, which takes a couple of seconds. This is basically it for the elevator installation. Uh, now you just have to wait for it to set up and uh, that will take a couple seconds here. Uh, in the meantime, if you are interested in any more advanced options of the elevator, such as um, custom floor numbering, or access control, or bank control is a new fun feature, or even fire service mode, whatever you want, here it is, it's already working here, then uh, go into the manual and read up on it, because I don't really care if you don't read the manual, because I want to answer your questions if you don't read it. Uh, let's go up to the fourth floor here, test it out a little bit. Oops, a little problem there. It's a little bit jumpy, but that's how all of these are. And you can see the display is working fine. Everything's working fine. The floor button should go out in a second here. And there it goes. And the door should open. Uh, you'll notice that the door is aligned and rotated itself to the bottom floor. So we don't have to do that. And, well, that's about it. Enjoy!